Each of you possesses the ability to start businesses and be the driving force be powering them. Today, the world acknowledges startups as the engine of economic growth and job creation, and Ghana desperately needs your entrepreneurial energy. Hinge on new ideas, innovation, and relentless determination in order to succeed. I warmly welcome you all to the third session of the 15 congregation ceremonies. I also wish to extend the warm regards of the Chancellor of the University, Dr. K.K. Sako, to all of you who have joined us this morning in celebration of our graduates. Congregation ceremonies are very important because they allow us to recognize students who have completed their programs of study and have become eligible for the award of various degrees. Thank you, Chairman. The Vice Chancellor traditionally gives his annual report to congregation at this forum on developments that have taken place at the university over the last academic year. Before the Vice Chancellor's address, we'll have our first musical interlude. The Vice Chancellor's address will immediately follow the musical interview. <clears throat> How sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ear. Chairman of the University Council, Dr. Kofi Oenu Konedu, who is presiding over this ceremony today, the guest of honor, Mr. Tufilos Yati, editor of Ghana's foremost newspaper, Daily Graphic, and also an alumnus of this great institution, members of convocation, alumni of this university, members of the media, my dear graduates, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me welcome all of you to the third session of the 15th Congregation Ceremony of UPSA. This session is one of the four ceremonies that will be held by the university for graduates of the just ended 2022-2023 academic year. My special welcome and gratitude go to Mr. Teofilos Yati, editor of Graphic Communications Group Limited, for accepting our invitation to be the guest speaker for today's ceremony. This morning's event will award the appropriate degrees and diplomas to students who have satisfied the requirements for graduation from the Faculty of Management Studies. As the chairman precisely stated in his opening remarks, the time-tested practice detects that I use this occasion to report on the work of the university for the 2022-2023 academic year. However, I will keep my report brief by only giving highlights of some important activities in the course of the last academic year. 
the detailed work of the university for the 2022-2023 academic year will be contained in the annual report that will be published. Dr. Chairman, before I do so, I wish to present some statistics on the students we are graduating today. The university will be graduating a total of 4,783 students at all the four sessions of the 15th congregation starting from now until tomorrow Friday, 20th October 2023. This number comprises 973 postgraduates, 2,969 undergraduates, and 80, 841 diploma students. At this session of the 15th congregation, Faculty of Management Studies is presenting 1,476 students for graduation, out of which 1,178 are undergraduates and 298 are diploma students. For the undergraduate level, four obtain first class, 231 second class upper, 499 second class lower, 391 third class, and 53 are going home with a pass. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I mean, if you got a pass at UPSA, it's equivalent to second upper in some universities. So that's fine, that's all right, it's, that's, that's all right. <laughs> we are talking about UPSA, this is UPSA. <laughs> One student obtained the extension, 122 of the diploma students obtained credit was 175 hard pass. And I want to believe they've bought their forms already to start a degree program. You can't go anywhere if you started at UPSA. You can't lower the standard, you can only go up. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, for your comprehensive report to congregation. Today's graduation speaker is Mr. Theophilus Lati editor of the Graphic Communications Group Limited. Mr. Yate has an in-depth knowledge of the media landscape in Ghana. He's a journalist with more than 30 years experience covering the major international and local assignments. And he holds an MPhil from UPSA. Prior to joining Graphic Communications Group, he served as deputy editor at the Business and Financial Times, he also worked with the News Times Corporation as Deputy Business Editor at the Ghanaian Times. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to today's speaker, Mr. Theophilos Yate. Thank you very much, Madam Registrar. Chairman of the University Council, Dr. Ufioni Kunedu. My Vice Chancellor, Professor Abednego Okofehi Amati. My esteemed, I can't say esteemed faculty members because I'm not a faculty member, but distinguished faculty members, of whom one is my spiritual mentor and my pastor, Dr. Michael Buidinya Miche. I'm happy to see him. Proud parents and most importantly, the remarkable graduating class of the University of Professional Studies. Congratulations is in order to you. Today we celebrate a momentous occasion, the crowning of years of hard work, perseverance, meeting stretchy deadlines, digging deep to unlock answers to assignments and examinations, and other experiences culminating in your graduation today. On behalf of this great institution, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. I remember vividly my own graduation in 2018, after successfully completing a Master of Philosophy in Leadership in this very noble university. Strangely, the Vice Chancellor, no, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Malto, was my supervisor. At a point, I told him I couldn't do that course anymore because the research was just too much for me. And he had to urge me on. And at a point he said, look, if you don't, you won't graduate. So I had to. Thank you, Professor Bauto, for that encouragement. 
I was filled with joy and pride having gone through two academic years of vigorous course and research work. I must say with pride and confidence that everything I learned as a student here during that period has made me a better leader and a more rounded professional. I am a proud alumnus and I will recommend my alma mater to anyone, any day. Today, Dr. Chair, however, it's not about me. It is your day, a day to the honor, to honor you for proving yourselves graduating class, for being resilient, determined, and capable individuals. And for that matter, you should be immensely proud. I am reminded of the former Indian leader, the late Mahatma Gandhi's wise words, that you must be the change you want to see in the world. Today, we honor you for your academic accomplishment. We also seek your commitment and readiness to improve our beloved Ghana, and indeed, the entire African continent. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, I want to seize the moment and share a few thoughts with you. Dr. Chair, COVID-19 has taught us about the fluidity of times and the need to take personal control of our career development. We have been reminded of the relevant skill sets needed if we must be competitive in the next 5, 10, 15 to 20 years. You must first discard the notion that government can create jobs for everyone in the, in the country. Instead, you must think of how to use your acquired skill set to innovate and in the process seek financial and technical support from governmental agencies and other sources. I'm emphasizing on this because um, Dr. Professor Marty just told us that the, the unemployment situation is real. The World Economic Forum Future for Jobs Report 2020 lists technology use, monitoring and control, technology design and programming, analytical thinking and innovation, leadership and social influence among the 10 top skills that will enable anyone to stay relevant by 2020. And by the way, that is just two years away. According to the British entrepreneur, Sir Richard Branson, business opportunities are like buses. There is always another one coming. Each of you possesses the ability to start businesses and be the driving force be powering them. Today, the world acknowledges startups as the engine of economic growth and job creation, and Ghana desperately needs your entrepreneurial energy hinge on new ideas, innovation, and relentless determination in order to succeed. The global landscape is evolving rapidly, presenting countless opportunities for those who dare to dream and take what I describe as legally permissible risks. Because of this assertion, I want to leave you with four points to remember. These four points should help you navigate the next phase of your journey successfully. The first one is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the driving force behind innovation, job creation, and economic growth. It is the spirit of entrepreneurship that has led to the birth of some of the most successful companies and industries we see today. From Silicon Valley to emerging and frontier markets, we see today, we see from emerging and frontier markets, entrepreneurs have disrupted traditional business models, revolutionized industries, and changed the way we work and live. In this ever-evolving global village, opportunities abound for those who are willing to notice and seize them. I know Ghanaian business people who link their sources to just paying attention to the national budget as it is read and looking for problems therein in order to provide solutions to them. Some others read the newspapers religiously, searching for problems to provide solutions to. Just like the red car theory, 
There are opportunities all around us, and we need just to pay attention to be able to seek them out. And to explain the red car theory, I would say, if I ask you, how many red cars did you count on your way here today? Most of you will give random answers, or at best say, you are not sure. But if you knew that someone was giving you 1,000 CDs for each red car you saw on your way here, you would have paid more attention to all the cars on the road to be able to identify the red ones. This lent credence to the idea that you must always look out for decades-old issues and apply innovation to address them and create new opportunities. Dr. Chair, to succeed as an entrepreneur, it is also crucial to understand the importance of securing investors. They provide the necessary capital, expertise, and networks to turn ideas into reality. In fact, investors are the lifeblood of any startup or business venture. Seek out investors who align with your vision and values and be prepared to articulate your business plan with passion and conviction. Show them that you have done your homework, that you understand the market, and that you have a clear strategy for success. This leads me to my second point, which is on technology. Entrepreneurship is powered by technology, which allows your ideas to reach a global audience. While the technology of today's digital and smart world is available to all, it is more than a tool. In fact, it is a way of thinking, and those who can spot the opportunities these technologies present can make use of them. In the words of the co-founder of Apple Mac, Steve Jobs, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Embrace technology and the digital revolution. My dear graduates, do not be deceived, for it has come to stay. It will change every part of your personal and professional life before you even realize it. 5G networks have barely reached half of the world, but just four years into adoption, its successor, 5.5G, which is said to be 10 times faster, is already on the horizon. Things change rapidly in the business world of today. Do not dwell on your failures for long. I will add that you must explore emerging industries such as renewable energy, artificial intelligence, and sustainable agriculture. Look beyond borders and consider the global market. Take advantage of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Since it has just taken off, deciding to exploit its opportunities can give you a head start. The world is your oyster and the possibilities are endless. My third point is ethics and business values. It is important to stress that success in the world of work and business is not solely dependent on seizing opportunities. It also requires a strong work ethic, resilience, and agility. Be ethical in your dealings, and especially in business. In a world where trust is often eroded, it is imperative that we conduct ourselves with integrity and uphold ethical standards. Treat your work colleagues, employees, customers, and partners with respect and fairness. Be socially responsible and contribute to the betterment of society. Invest your time, skills, and talents into making society better. At your workplaces, volunteer your time and talents for activities that make your communities better. Put aside a budget for corporate social responsibility, also as entrepreneurs. Remember that true success is not measured solely by financial wealth, but by the positive impact we make on the lives of others. As you embark on this exciting journey, I want to leave you with the final thought, which is also my fourth point. Success is not a destination. It is a lifelong journey. Consider failure as a stepping stone to success. Learn from your mistakes, adapt, and persevere. 
Surround yourself with a support system that believes in you and your dreams. Adapt a culture of continuous learning, for the world is changing at an unprecedented pace. Be open to innovative ideas, perspectives, and collaborations. Support yourself with diverse team that challenges and inspires you. Foster a culture of innovation where creativity and out-of-the-box thinking are encouraged. And most importantly, never lose sight of your passion and purpose. My dear graduates, I have no doubt that each and each one of you has the potential to achieve greatness. Believe in yourselves, nurture the spirit of entrepreneurship, and let your dreams soar. As you venture into the world, remember that UPSC will always be your home and will be cheering you on every step of the way. Congratulations once again, and may your future be filled with boundless opportunities, remarkable achievements, and immeasurable joy. Thank you and best wishes to the class of 2023. May God bless you all, and may God bless our noble UPSC. Thank you very much, Mr. Yati, for your succinct remarks. And remember, never lose sight of your passion or purpose. Thank you once again. Before the presentation of awards, we are going to have a musical interlude from the UPSA Choir. Established the Vice Chancellor's Award of Excellence to recognize members of the university community who have excelled and deserve recognition on their exemplary commitment to the ideals and passions of this university. The award celebrates exceptional staff performance by recognizing impact, leadership, and outstanding performance. Today, Acting on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, I am pleased to share that the Vice Chancellor's Award will be presented to five deserving members of the university community. May I respectfully invite the Council Chairman and the Vice Chancellor to kindly assist in the presentation of the awards. I invite the candidate holding envelope mark number five to come forward. More than the longest serving staff, Mr. Mwaku is one who we go to when we not only want something done, but want something done right. Always one with a smile on his face, he is willing to help, eager to assist, and ready to lend a helping hand. Mr. George Kofi Mwaku, in recognition, the Vice Chancellor presents you with this award, which reads, in recognition of your many years of service presented to George Kofi Mwaku, for providing meaningful service during your many years of service to the University of Professional Studies, Accra. Always remember that you made a difference. I now invite the candidates holding envelope number four to come forward. From Act 
active student to hard-working staff. The Academic Affairs Directorate is lucky to have you. In spite of the long hours, we sometimes make 24 hours seem like 48. You have become a constant and reliable addition to the team. Mr. Kwame Chumisi Jemfi, in recognition of your service, the Vice Chancellor presents this award which reads, The Vice Chancellor's Award of Excellence presented to Kwame Jemfi Chumisi, a.k.a. Chipsa, in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the Division of Academic Affairs and to your unfailing service to the University of Professional Studies Accra. We thank you for your devotion, dedication, and hard work presented by the Chancellor today. I now invite the candidate holding envelope number three to come forward. When it comes to university events, there is always one face always bobbing around, directing pictures, taking notes, and uploading stories of campus happenings and bringing potential issues to our attention. And if our social media platforms bring a smile to your face, then you can understand why we are smiling today as we present this next award. Mr. Freeman Kwade, in recognition of your service, the Vice Chancellor presents this award, which reads, Vice Chancellor's Award of Excellence presented to Emmanuel Freeman Kwade, in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the media unit and your unfailing service to the University of Professional Studies, Accra. We thank you for your dedication, devotion, and hard work presented by the Vice Chancellor. I now invite the candidate holding envelope number two to bring the envelope forward for presentation. The University of Professional Studies Accra has a set of ethics, ideals, and values that all staff members are entreated to embrace. Our values of integrity, responsibility, respect, and service are key to our success. Today, we celebrate someone who epitomizes our values and ethics and promotes these ideals through his interaction with students, staff, and our stakeholders. Dr. Michael Buedi Namiche, in recognition of this service, the Vice Chancellor presents this award, which reads, Vice Chancellor's Award for Exemplary Service, presented to Dr. Michael Buedi Namiche, with great appreciation for your dedication and commitment to consistently demonstrating excellence in all the core values of the University of Professional Studies, Accra, presented by the Vice Chancellor. And now, I invite the candidate holding envelope mark number one to bring the envelope forward for presentation. <laughs> for as long as many of us can remember, quality assurance issues have been in the forefront of what we do here at UPSC. We live it, we breathe it, and we exact it from ourselves. And this is in large part to one individual who stands tall, literally and figuratively, and is head and shoulders above the rest. As you near your final days at UPSA, in recognition of your many dedicated years of service, the Vice Chancellor presents you with this award, which reads, Vice Chancellor's Award for Distinguished Service, presented to Mr. George Quarte. You have retired from UPSA with distinction. We will forever be grateful for your inspiring motivation and unflinching commitment to the promotion of quality assurance and academic integrity at UPSA, presented by the Vice Chancellor.
Congratulations to all recipients of the 2023 Vice Chancellor's Award of Excellence. <clears throat> Chairman of Council, Vice Chancellor, we now turn to the presentation of academic prizes for our graduates. May I now invite the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor John Mauto, to present the graduates who have excelled for the award of academic prizes. I hope your claps are not. I see. Thank you very much. Chairman, sir, may I present graduates who have excelled for the award of academic prizes? When your name is mentioned, kindly come forward to receive your award from your dean. By extension, Chairman Sir, we are very grateful to all sponsors of today's prizes. And I refer to pages 96 to 99 of the brochure for a complete list of all the sponsors of the awards for the Faculty of Management Studies. We are sincerely grateful to you for your sponsorship. Chairman, sir, with your permission, I will start with the best graduating student in diploma in management, Vicentia Nyonyo. Please step forward. Vicentia. All right. Next, we have the best graduating student in diploma in marketing, Esther Clemethy. Please continue clapping for her. Please continue. We have the best graduating student in real estate management and finance, Ruth Ayorigua. Thank you. Next. We have the best graduating student in marketing, Gifty Gajo. Yeah. Thank you. graduating student in business administration, Abigail Inimwa Labi. <laughs> Chairman said, now the overall best graduating student in the Faculty of Management Studies, Abigail Inimwa Labi. Chairman, sir, those awards were sponsored by the following individuals and institutions. The overall best graduating student in the faculty, sponsored by the Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies. The best graduating student in business administration, Dr. Mark Buedu. Buedu. Then the best graduating student in marketing, Academy of Marketing Arts and Science, Ghana. Best graduating student in real estate management and finance, Mr. Issa Mohammed. And best graduating student in diploma in marketing, Dr. I.K. Abdul Hamid. Then the best student in diploma in management, Mr. Richard Owusu, real tech consult. Thank you.
We now begin with the conferment of degrees and diplomas. Chairman and members of council, vice chancellor, congregation speaker, the persons who will be presented have fulfilled the diploma requirements of the University of Professional Studies Accra and in character to be awarded the diplomas perceived by the graduates in the Faculty of Management Studies. I therefore call to the podium Professor Fidelis Kwanza, Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, to present the graduates of her faculty for the award of diplomas. Will the graduating diploma students in the Faculty of Management Studies please stand and remain standing. The graduates except the ladies should take up their caps. Chairman of Council, I, Professor Fidelis Kwanza, Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, present to you those students of the Faculty of Management Studies who have successfully completed the diploma requirements in this university and have been found worthy, both in learning and in character, to be awarded diploma in management and diploma in marketing. I pray for the conferment of the diplomas due them. Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, by the powers vested in the Chancellor, by the enabling act of the University of Professional Studies, Accra, I, Dr. Kofi Ohinikunedu, Chairman of the University Council, acting in the stead of the Chancellor, award you all and severally Diploma in Management and Diploma in Marketing of the University of Professional Studies, Aiko. Please put on your caps, place the tassel to the left, and be seated. Congratulations. We now move to the award of the various bachelor degrees for the Faculty of Management Studies. Chairman of Council, Vice Chancellor, the persons who will be presented have fulfilled all the degree requirements of the University of Professional Studies Accra and have been found worthy both in learning and in character to be admitted to the various bachelor's degrees pursued by the graduates in the Faculty of Management Studies Accra. I therefore call back to the podium Professor Fidelis Kwanza, Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, to present the graduates of the Faculty of Management Studies for the award of the various bachelor's degrees. May I invite the first class graduates in the Faculty of Management Studies to come forward. When your name is called, come forward to the front of the dais to take a bow for acknowledgement. Bachelor of Business Administration, first class honors, Kabonu Winifred Selom. <laughs> Labi Abigail Aniwa Mensa Reflector. Tete Matilda, thank you. Will the graduating bachelor's degree students in the Faculty of Management Studies please stand and remain standing. The graduates, except the ladies, will take off their caps. Chairman of Council, I, Professor Fidelis Kwanza, Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, present to you those students of the Faculty of Management Studies who have successfully completed the degree requirements in this university and have been found worthy both in learning and in character, to be admitted to the degrees of Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Marketing, and Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Management and Finance of the University of Professional Studies. 
Those present and those unavoidably absent whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy, I pray for the conferment of the degrees due them. Dean of the Faculty of Management Studies, by the powers vested in the Chancellor by the Enabling Act of the University of Professional Studies, Accra, I, Dr. Kofi Ohinikun, the Chairman of the University Council, acting in the stead of the Chancellor, admit you all and severally to the degrees of Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Management and Finance of the University of Professional Studies. Aiko. Please put on your caps, place the tassel to the left, and be seated. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduates of the Faculty of Management Studies 2023. So as the tradition is here, we begin with hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Now it's time for dancing. Choir, please, a musical selection. Victorian, Miss Abigail Aniwalabi, to present her valedictory address on behalf of the class of 2023. Chairman, sorry, <laughs> guest of honor. <laughs> Chairman of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, Vice Chancellors and Rectors, Members of the University Council, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans and Directors, Members of Convocation, Senior and Junior Staff of UPSC, Alumni of UPSC, Members of the Media, Fellow graduating students, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am elated and humbled to stand before you 
to read the validatory speech on behalf of the graduating students of Faculty of Management Studies. Reflecting on our time at UPSA, I am reminded of the words of the late former president of South Africa. Education, Nelson Mandela, sorry. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Our university education has indeed empowered us with the knowledge and tools to create meaningful change. Over the past few years, I have witnessed each of us discover our passions and wholeheartedly commit to them, leading to profound personal growth. Regardless of our interests, we have passionately pursued them with unwavering dedication. Along this journey, we have encountered numerous individuals, forged enduring friendships, and experienced events that will forever hold a special place in our hearts. I am sure you agree with me that waking up on Monday mornings for class, searching for a stable internet connection for Zoom lectures, enduring lengthy hours of lectures, tackling quizzes and assignments were not easy fit. Yet together, we navigated these challenges with resilience and determination. As I gaze out at the audience before me, I can sense multitudes of emotions emanating from everyone present here. The pride of parents, relatives, friends, and loved ones radiate throughout this gathering. We express our heartfelt gratitude to all of you for being our unwavering support system throughout this year. To the university's management, faculty, and administrative staff, we appreciate you a lot and we say may God richly bless you. During our time at UPSA, we were not just students. We were visionaries, dreamers, and seekers of knowledge. We did not merely attend classes. We engaged in intellectual discourse that expanded our horizons. Graduation is a time for reflecting on the past and looking forward to the future. It is a time that we, as graduates, get together for one last hooray before moving on to a bigger and better adventures. As this chapter closes, I know many of us are eager to begin the next one. However, unlike a book in English class, we cannot flip through the pages of life to preview the length of the next chapter. Each of us holds a unique book of life waiting to be written. Fortunately, as UPSA graduates, we have been equipped with all the ink and paper we need to pen our own stories. To conclude, the class of 2023 stands at the intersection of past achievements and future possibilities. Let us try diligently in the economic realm, touch lives, and secure financial success. Congratulations to all of us. We have found a way through, and now we will pave the way forward for a brighter tomorrow. God bless UPSA. God bless our nation, Ghana. And God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail Labi. And now, as graduates, we now ask Mrs. Lauren Jan, Director of Administration, to administer the alumni oath to all of you. Will all the graduates stand and keep standing? Open your brochures with me to page 102 and repeat after me. 
So when you say I, you insert your individual names. So I do solemnly pledge to faithfully fulfill my duties as an alumnus of the University of Professional Studies, Accra. I pledge to use my knowledge, skills and experiences to the best of my ability for the advancement of learning and the well-being of my community and country. I promise to be a loyal ambassador for my university to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will endeavor in all my dealings to be known as a person of honor and repute to bring respect to my alma mater. So help me God. Congratulations, please take your seats. A few announcements before we move to the closing. All graduates are informed that immediately following today's ceremony, you may pick up your certificates at the Student Center. If you have any friends coming for tomorrow's graduation, kindly encourage them to be here on time. In order to ease the flow of traffic on campus, parking will be available as we did today at Vantage Point, and the UPSA buses will be available to transport them to campus. And also, after the ceremony, in order not to constrict the flow of traffic, we have assigned specific spaces where you can meet with your family and friends if you so choose, so that the other spaces are not encumbered. We hope you fully cooperate with our security staff as they direct you to the spaces that have been designated. Finally, we thank the council chairman, our congregation speaker, faculty, staff, and all of you for attending today's ceremony. Shall we please rise for the UPSA anthem?